Oh, hey guys, um, I'm just getting all my guns ready because, let's face it, Red Brown Month is over, Nightclaws just fucking killed it, you know? Which means I gotta get back to Final Fantasy, which means just about anyone or anything could come running into my room to try to kill me. Hey, Spooner. Ah! Whoa, 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 calm down. There's no need to get excited. I'm the Critical Marine. I'm here to help you with Red... Oh my god, it's Obama. What? It's finally happened! They're taking our guns! I'm not here to take your guns. Damn, you do have a lot... Is that a grenade launcher? Okay, that is illegal. Self-defense. Actually, that probably should have killed you, but then again, your nose is quite huge. Must have cushioned the impact. Oh, God! Oh! Ah, oh, jeez, pumpkin. Quit your crying. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. God! Oh! See, oh. I saved you a trip to the emergency room. Ah! Would you like a Mountain Dew? Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, oh. that whole Bigfoot oh. fiasco seemed to have kicked your ass. Oh. Perhaps you'd be interested in this. Uh, uncommon Valor. I never heard of it. It's a phrase from a quote Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz said about Marines and sailors who fought on Iwo Jima. Among the Americans serving on Iwo Island, uncommon valor was a common virtue. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm really not feeling this one. Reb got killed by a girl. I can never unsee that. Nonsense. Oh. That's just wimp talk. Oh. Don't be a freaking wuss. It's, you don't even know, man. After this, I gotta do fucking Final Fantasy, and you ain't seen that shit. That sounds really rough. Perhaps we should watch some footage from Afghanistan to get you in a better mood. Yeah, you pretty much win every argument with that one, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Movie? Okay. Oh, hey, alright, now we're talking. All the best Red Brown movies open with him in Vietnam running to a helicopter. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, but they're retreating and getting their asses kicked. Ah, uh, what the hell are you guys doing? Throwing away gear? Leaving dead and wounded behind? Marines don't do that. Especially run away. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Yeah, they're definitely army. Nobody disgraces my core and gets away with it. What about in James Cameron's Avatar? Those were mercenaries, damn it! Ah, look at these wimps. Come on, you pansies. Hey, Red Brown's not a wimp. He's the ultimate badass. There's no one who can touch him in your whole damn army. Provide covering fire? Maybe run out and help him? Nothing? Are you guys too busy with your sewing circle to do anything? Wait, someone save Lou Ferrigno. He's out there somewhere. Okay, I'm sorry. I just have to make this joke again. It's too perfect. Right! follows Gene Hackman, hopefully on his way to putting on a shirt. Oh, oh, God! A retired Marine colonel who is literally haunted by his son who was captured in the previous scene, who is in the Army, which is weird since families more often than not stick to one particular service. Except he's not sure his son is dead since really he's MIA, but the government won't help him since it's years later and they're trying to pursue diplomacy now. So he has to go through back channels using his old connections in the military, and, I don't know, just kind of going around Bangkok waving money around, asking people if they know where a generic-looking white guy is. Well, this seems safe. Walking around the dirtiest parts of Bangkok, openly telling people you have wads of cash. Gene Hackman is a di Hey, no fair! Jeez, maybe I shouldn't have just handed a wad of cash over to a guy without even casually glancing at the paper he handed me. Somehow he comes up with enough evidence that convinces him that his son is still alive, and even narrows down the camp where he's being held prisoner. And since the government won't help, he decides to mount his own rescue mission, using his command experience to lead a team of soldiers into Vietnam 
and bring the prisoners home. And there's only one group capable of undertaking such a dangerous mission, operating outside official channels. They're a crack commando unit surviving as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the BAM team. <laughs> Big-ass motherfuckers. Hang on. Patrick Swayze's in this movie? Yes! The guy fought off the Russian occupation of the United States. The VC are screwed. Hell yeah, man. Gene Hackman starts recruiting all the members of his son's old unit, including Reb Brown and his epic hair. It's just amazing. The last time his hair was that long was in Yore, and he brought down multiple civilizations over the course of a weekend. Aw, oh, come on. He looks ridiculous. But you want to talk hair... Gene also manages to get Randall Tex Cobb out of prison. Prison? What's he in for? Molesting a dead horse. What the hell happened to you? Man, I'm so far beyond that shit, man. I hear you from the air. I talk to polar bears, I converse with paramecia. Man, I fuck nuclear waste! My farts could bring down satellites. Anyway, breaking a psycho out of prison to go to Vietnam and rescue POWs? How do you even do that? That sounds... Isn't that basically the exact plot of Rambo First Blood Part 2? Wait a minute, this is directed by Ted Kotcheff. That's the director of First Blood. So it's Rambo 2. Only instead, we get Gene Hackman, Patrick Swayze, and Reb Brown as Rambo. Dude! You gotta give me a shot, man. Do we get the win this time? So, by now, Gene's not only got a team of supreme badasses, he trains them to be even deadlier by literally building a replica of the POW camp and runs them through training exercises and rehearsals of the base attack. And, sometimes just for shits, Gene runs up in the middle of the night and sprays an assault rifle into their tent. You're all dead! Well, that seems a bit much. I don't see how. It happened all the time in boot camp. Really? No. What, do you expect the guard to stop him? He's the CO. He could do whatever he wants. Somebody wake up, Hick. Okay, Curtis. Follow the leader. Get your Sierra together, my man. Kiss my Sierra, buddy. I heard that, Curtis. <laughs> Helicopters? They have helicopters. Where did they get all this stuff? From Robert Stack. He runs a major corporation, or, or something. When you're rich, you can just buy explosives, rifles, and helicopters out of a catalog. Oh, come on. This isn't just illegal. It's amazingly illegal. He's providing arms to people invading another country. The only way this makes any kind of sense is if Robert Stack is secretly Batman. Well, I guess you can call it an unsolved mystery. What I really don't get is that a senator walks into his office and he knows everything, but he does nothing to stop them. This whole thing is just ridiculous. Look, do you want to see Viet Cong explode or not? Yes. Initiate the training montage. Congratulations, sailor. You just wasted a prisoner. It's a collaborator. <laughs> Each one of the characters has a specialty they teach to all the others, like stabbing dudes in the brain. And Reb is the explosives expert. So yeah, Reb Brown is the guy with all the bombs. This is gonna be awesome. Just as we were coming up here with the column, they would trip charge number one, an M26 trip grenade. Boom! Start of action. 
Column splits in two, half here, half there. Over here to number two is a Willie Peter, which will set their ass on fire. They think they're safe, they get away. Woo! Boom! Number three, bouncing Betty blows their balls off. Number four, they come up here. They think they got it made, they fight into a two pound charge of C4. Boom! Number five, quick fuse grenade. Yeah, it's not a big bang, but it does a good job. And anybody left after this, We'll come in here. I think we've got to make it now. And they're coming out and they're moving. And then they run into charge six. Claymore mine. End of story. So he's the one carrying around all the plastic explosives. I feel so confident in him. Oh, it's fine. He knows exactly how bombs work. It's a bomb. Don't worry. We got around two minutes yet. Oh, God, they're all going to die. The main source of tension here is nobody likes Patrick Swayze. How could nobody like Patrick Swayze? I guess they saw Dirty Dancing. He served in Force Recon Marines. Served? I was discharged for striking a radio operator who fell asleep at his post. For that? I don't think so. But they also don't trust him because he's never actually been to combat and don't know if he'll crack under pressure. It finally comes to a head when Bend Over here calls him out in a fight. Oh, bad move. Sway's dog will rip your fucking throat out, baby. Roadhouse style. Boy, using that oriental martial bullshit on me is gonna get real expensive. What the hell? Where'd he learn to fight like that? You can't beat up Dalton. Come on, man. Get up. Pain don't hurt. Ah. Gentlemen, I want you to study every inch of this compound. It's an exact reproduction of the POW camp in Laos. Then it's imperative that we're in and out in less than three minutes. In and out in three minutes. Well, your girlfriend says you don't have a problem with that. Hey, shut up! The night before their live fire exercise, Gene gathers all the men around the campfire and explains that it's not just the enemy soldiers they have to deal with, but possible resistance by the POWs themselves. They may not be able to walk. They may not want to walk. They're going to be shattered, both physically and emotionally. They may need a hug. Hey, is it really okay to make fun of POWs? Probably not. Hey, wait a second. Did you change uniforms? Nope. After their training is complete, they head to Bangkok to finish the mission. Bangkok, Oriental setting in the city. Don't know what the city is. Get the creme de la creme of the chess world in a show with everything but Yul Brynner. Where the CIA immediately arrest them upon their arrival. I guess the plan of smuggling a dozen Americans overseas with an arsenal of weapons and explosives was easier said than done. We're confiscating your weapons, and my orders are to put you in jail. A Bangkok jail. But Colonel, I don't want to put an old soldier like you in jail. But damn it, this game of yours is crazy! Wow, this guy sucks. Yeah, that dubbing is horrible. Wait, and then he just lets him go? Really? They had enough firepower to blow up Alderaan! How were they- Oh god, rep shorts! I can see every contour of his wang! No! Oh, calm down. Losing their weapons is only a setback. Part of being a Marine is learning to adapt. Wilkes, we're gonna need transportation. Four-wheel drive? Preferably. Buy it or borrow it. Steal the fucker. Which is why they find an alternate source for their equipment. It's Bangkok. You can find guns there like it's Grand Theft Auto. What does Monsieur recommend? I believe I'll have the Colt M1911. Ah, the 1911. Excellent choice, sir. A very good year for handguns. A whole lot for, let's say... No. Six thousand dollars? Let's say four thousand dollars. Four thousand? You couldn't even get them that cheap in GTA. It looks deserted. I'm gonna take a look. I'll go with you. I need to take a closer look at that bridge. I don't know why, but for some reason they decide to send the only soldier who's claustrophobic into the drainage pipe with nasty swamp water and deadly constrictor snakes. Wilkes, you all right? Ah! 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 Wilkes, what's wrong, man? Ah! Wilkes, you all right? Andy crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I just don't want to.
finally, after the shitstorm that was Night Claws, I think I've earned this one pure moment of red brown goodness. I mean, the whole movie's been leading up to this, so I'm just gonna sit back and relax. Wait, and... wait, 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 wait. You know what I think would be a brilliant idea? If Gene Hackman was actually a secret double agent for the Viet Cong and then snuck up behind Red Brown and snapped his neck. Shut up! That's not even... Wait a minute, you did change uniforms. What's up with that? Optical camo. Looks like he's in no condition to finish us up, so I'm gonna have to do it on my own website. See you there. dangerous stuff. <laughs> this, is, this man is dangerous to work with. <laughs>